Hey YouTube, what's going on? My name is Yell Bass. Welcome back to my channel. There are two different types of Spanish native speakers. So we have the Spanish native speakers that were born here in the US, grew up here. And we also have the Spanish native speakers who were born in another Spanish speaking country who immigrated. So what it's like to teach both of them. So let me tell you a little bit about the Spanish native speakers that were born here and what they are like in my class. They tend to not appreciate the language. They think that it's not necessary, they think it's too easy, or they think, oh, I'm not gonna do the work because I know I'm gonna pass this class anyways even if I try the minimum. They feel a bit ashamed or awkward speaking Spanish with their peers with me and they just think it's it's not something that's part of who they are and a part of that uh, you know in Spanish class not just the language but it's also the culture there were times where I heard things like oh corridos son solamente para los paisas what and that basic I don't even know how to translate that in English to be honest a lot of people listen to corridos not just those type of people and it, it just has that stereotype that only like Norteños, people from the north, people that, you know, are country-ish, like, listen to these corridos. Um, and, you know, obviously that's not true. I listen to corridos and I don't wear a sombrero and I don't have farm animals or I don't have cocaine because it's another stereotype that corridos is just for like narcos. But we all know that that's not true, okay? And so then they have all these like internalized stereotypes that they don't want to follow and they don't want to be a part of the Latin culture. And I find that with like half of them, maybe like 50%, 60% of them are very internalized here in Los Angeles. And what that basically means that they are more comfortable with the American culture rather than their own. Like they don't identify with their Latin culture. And it's just very hard to teach something that students do not appreciate. And I'm sure that exists in other subjects as well. Um, in terms of, sorry, I just like ate a bunch of mangoes and I have like little tiny bits <laughs> in between my teeth. In terms of the native Spanish speakers who were born in another Spanish speaking country, they tend to appreciate the language more. They make more of an effort to improve their Spanish even though their Spanish is already well. It's already good. And another thing is I noticed that a lot of them, you know, not just students from Mexico but also from El Salvador, Guatemala, Hondureños, uh, they tend to write their paragraphs without periods. It's so weird. Like they're writing, they'll write, 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 but there are no periods. There's no separation of ideas. And so I had to teach how to use a period for these students. It was a little bit odd, but I, I try to understand, you know, where they're coming from. And they just, they also feel, and I, uh, they were talking to me about this, they also feel a little bit discriminated by their own people, you could say. Um, because I work in a school that 99% of them are Latinos and there is a mix of Hondureños, Mexicanos, Guatemaltecos, Salvadoreños, etc. etc. But um, there tends to be this discrimination between, or segregation, I should say, between those that speak Spanish and those who speak English. So, like a linguistic separation. It's a little bit rare because they look exactly the same, right? Like they're brown, some of them are white because um, it exists, you know, white Latinos. And, sorry, the bingo stuff. And that's what's really, really odd at my school. And they told me that they find that um, other Latinos who speak English make fun of their own English. I mean, sorry, that they make fun of um, their English because most of them are immigrants and some of them know a little bit of English, some of them don't. And so when they try, they make fun of them. And so that's obviously not okay. So there's like this segregation that happens and it's not very healthy. Um, 
but yes, it's strange because everyone looks the same, but not everyone talks the same. Um, so there's that. Like, there's linguistic discrimination, I guess you could say. And um, that is pretty much it for today. And I hope you found this a little bit interesting. It wasn't very informative, but just a, a topic that um, I felt was worthy of mentioning. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and um, I'm sure you all appreciate it as well. And um, for, don't forget to subscribe, to like this, share with anybody that you find interesting, um, that might find it interesting. And that is all for today. Ciao!